The world of e-commerce is changing all the time. No longer are the days that you can just hop on and ride one measly product to six figures by running TikTok ads. Uh, things are changing so rapidly within the space that if you don't have proper business infrastructure, if you don't have proper systems, it's becoming increasingly hard for you to scale. Now, my name is Carl Hinkson, and most of you will know me for being an athlete. Some of you might know me as the founder, the creator of Footy Tutor. But one thing that I don't speak about as much is the fact that the skill that I've been really focusing on developing over the last nine to 12 months is the skill of media buying and the skill of content creation by utilizing AI systems. And to the untrained ear, this could sound like these don't go hand to hand, but if you are in the media buying space and you understand the importance of content creation and the fact that this is now probably the biggest lever that you can pull when it comes to actually making vast improvements to your ad buying structure. With that being said, I try to make some videos on AI content creation tips as well as all of the things that I am doing behind the scenes to build uh, my brands and my business. So if that's something that you're interested, highly recommend that you subscribe for future videos. But what I'll be doing in this video is sharing with you guys three tools I came across recently that I think have amazing ability to help increase all of your metrics across the board when it comes to your e-commerce business. Now, the last tool in particular is something that I have not seen anything like it on the market. I think it's an actual game changing AI tool and I highly recommend that you guys stick around to see that because as a media buyer myself, it fixes for me what I think is one of the biggest problems that I see with brands that struggle to scale. The first tool that I want to talk about is one called Photo Room. Now this one is essentially an AI powered Canva type tool where you can go ahead and upload product photos from your Shopify store and it will take those raw photos and basically put AI elements over it to make it seem as if you did photoshops in various different angles and a various different backgrounds. So this is an amazing tool to allow you to maximize your output with AI. Now in one of my recent videos I spoke about the fact that AI is not the end all be all and you probably shouldn't be using the assets that you get from these tools as the end product. They are to give you ideas about different creatives that you can use and also to give you chances to just be creative in using the AI assets, mixing them with your real assets to get amazing final products and final ad creatives. With that being said, this is a tool that I'm excited about because of the intricacies in which AI is able to enhance the images. For instance, the depth of the backgrounds as well as the shadow utilization, which the AI automatically creates to me is absolutely stunning. So I think that there's a lot of room here for you to test out this with already existing good photo shoots to maximize that creative production and to just get more backgrounds, to get more options to use within your static creative system. Now the next tool I'm going to talk about is a very interesting generative AI tool. Now instead of going from an existing picture to enhance variables of that picture, this tool allows you to upload the URL from a Shopify store and get a direct UGC video created by an AI character with just a few clicks. And when I first came across this, I was actually blown away because it's just so beautifully designed for e-commerce specifically. The truth is that just like most AI tools on the market, it's still very young and the AI does make a lot of mistakes. Uh, the sync is about as clean as the best syncs that you get from a tool like Heijin. Similarly to what I said for the last tool, I would not take this as the end all be all. Like I personally would not generate one of these videos and run it as a whole ad myself. If you were to, for instance, take one of these green screens or take one of these voiceovers and just add it into a pre-existing winner ad, you now that allows you to have two, three, four, you can think about how many variations you can create by putting in small AI snippets, which would show another UGC review and really help you to bolster that ad and create a more robust experience with whatever the video ads are that you are trying to create. Now guys, if you haven't noticed up until this point, I'm not going super in depth with tutorials or anything. I like to make these videos to just share the things that I've come across and the things that I'm testing. If you are interested in me going a little bit deeper and actually showing you how I would go about, for instance, building out a whole ad campaign and putting together some UGC creatives, both real and AI to come up with a finished product, uh, let me know down in the comments and that's something that I could potentially, you know, get up to. On that note, I also write a newsletter. It goes out once per week every Saturday where I share all the behind the scenes of everything that I'm doing online, introducing you guys to new apps, new concepts and new frameworks that you can use to increase your production flow, whether that be utilizing AI tools or if you are just a creator trying to show up more online, something that I highly recommend, uh, check it out down in the description. And finally, we come upon the third AI tool that I wanted to talk about today. Now, this one is actually 
revolutionary. I think that this could change the game. It's something that I have personally thought that would be so valuable if it could be created and now it's here. Now the name of this tool is Ava Sales and what they do is something that is very, very unique in the sense that they have trained AI bots to be able to call your customers who have abandoned cart and ask them why they have abandoned cart and also try to push them to check out by giving them a specific unique discount code. Now for anyone who's buying ads online, you'll know how frustrating it is to see the data of people who might have seen an ad, click through to your website, add it to cart, but then just fell off. And it just leaves you in a place of not knowing exactly why this person didn't buy. Is it just a little bit too early in their experience with the brand? Uh, was the pricing off? And so this is why I feel like this tool is so powerful and can actually help you to extract so much value from your Shopify store. It's a bit self-explanatory. Uh, the two reasons, as I mentioned previously, either you can collect more data on why this person is not ready to buy, so that can help you to adjust your strategy or even uh, just know where you're potentially having some drop-offs in your funnel, or it will follow up with the person give them an incentive to buy, and now this person who have probably not checked out, maybe because they just got distracted or, or they you know, had planned to put it off until there was a sale or something, can now check out immediately and it can return you a lot of money from your actual ads. Now this is pretty cool, it's still a little bit early, but I just want you to listen in really quickly to the quality of the conversation that it's able to generate. Here we can see a little demo. This is Amanda, who's this? with Nectar Energy. I just noticed you left some items in your cart. Do you have any questions about your order? Uh, no, I'm okay, thank you. Okay, well, before you go, do you want me to check if I can get you a discount? Uh, no, it's all right. I'm just browsing right now. Um, let me see what I can do for you, Amanda. Tries to get a... Sure. Attempts okay, to give them an offer. Great. Just a heads up, this code is only valid until the end of the day. Short of an emergency, would there be any reason you can't use it tonight? Uh, no. Great. So you can just click that link to return to your checkout and we'll ship your product straight to you. Is there anything else I can help you with? No, sounds good, thank you. And they claimed that the call with the AI cost about 12 cents to deliver and they were able to recoup about $37 from that actual call. Now I will admit it's not the most beginner friendly tool. You have to know your way a little bit around the CRM. You have to know a little bit about how to integrate Zapier with a Shopify site. And even Zapier is utilizing AI to make this process easier and easier. So I would say if it's something that you're interested in doing, please do not be discouraged. But once you set this system up, it's something that I just can't see how it would not become extremely valuable as we move forward, especially as the AI gets better and better at making sales and it starts to learn your brand, it starts to learn the data, it starts to learn a lot of the problems and the struggles that your specific customers have. If you integrate this with your Shopify store, I just don't see how you can not benefit in the long term from having an agent who's 100% looking at your Shopify add to carts and making sure that people are having a pleasant experience checking out with your company. Yeah, so that's all I got for this video, guys. I did mention that if you guys are interested in me doing more deep dive, more play-by-play -play videos, please let me know in the comments below. Uh, I'm gonna recommend once again that you check out my weekly newsletter that I send out once per week. That's short crazy value pack just like these youtube videos if you gain any value from this video highly gonna recommend that you subscribe for future videos it's me and boy carl i'll see you in the next one